Hey everyone, Candice Cordelia here at the Last Match Musical in the ECW Arena in my hometown of Philadelphia. I'm standing next to Matt Raywalt. Got that right. Perfect. <laughs> Picture perfect. <laughs> Couldn't have had it go any better. Love it. And you are playing the boss, mm -hmm. I understand, which is such a hefty character title. You know, what is your character all about? Please give it to us in as best terms so that we're not spoiled. Yes, you know, of course. We, yeah, we want no. everyone to see this. We want you to come yes. out and see it all play out. But um, best way, I mean, the boss is mm -hmm. just that. That's the reason the character is titled that, right, that way, right? Um, my what I'm all about. What's best for business? Mm. You know, I, I modeled after many wrestling kind of leaders. Your Triple H's, your Tony Khan's, your you know, even back to the territory days. Paul Heyman here at ECW was that guy, the guy who decides who wins, who loses, mm. what storylines are going forward. You know, who hired and fired as, as as talent, right? So like, you're kind of it's this weird thing where the leader is like this both a business executive mm -hmm. they are they're literally they bring in talent you know mm -hmm. they decide what they do but then they're also kind of a creative director too because they're pick, they're picking the storylines they're picking who wins the championship who loses stuff like that so it's this weird crossover between actual business and then creative wow. and sometimes that's good or bad and that, that's what i want you to come figure out because like sometimes that's that's what i love about this character action mm -hmm. we've got a couple of characters that are they're absolutely lovable, right? Yeah. We, we, from moment one, we're like, this is somebody I want to pull for. We've got some that are clear as day, like, <laughs> screw this guy. You know what I mean? <laughs> and my character is kind of this, you're a little, I mean, corporate people, right? Oh, the, the, well, we, we, we all, a whole other conversation. Right? No, but, but, they're, but that, that exact yeah. reaction is what yeah. I'm talking about. Sometimes it's like, ooh. Absolutely. But then it's like, oh, you see me talk to this person. Well, mm. Wait, maybe... Maybe they do have their best interests at heart. Mm. Oh, wait, wait, he was saying that. It's this back and forth that I get to really play with as a as an actor, which is really fun, just kind of riding this border between those two things. Mm -hmm. And uh, and it's a lot of fun. And it, it's I haven't seen the show yet, and I personally can't wait because it marriages two of my favorite things, wrestling and oh, theater. Oh, so I think it's just the perfect, and rock and roll, so three of my favorite things. And they're all coming together, and it's based in the 80s. So there's just a lot happening from what I understand. I mean, for you to be able to perform and do the acting, but also the singing, talk to us about the singing aspect of everything with yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, I mean, this. so I, I'm with you. I mean, again, I anybody who's followed me ever in wrestling, I came up in theater like that was mm. legitimate legitimately my background um it was all a part of wrestling but man i have such a love for musical theater and everything like that so this same marriage of everything <laughs> i could have ever wanted to do uh but yeah for me so again aiden english back in wwe mm. was my wrestling character of course yes. and i modeled that off my theater background i sang to the ring and everything like that but i was a bad guy and so like it was kind of if i sucked <laughs> you booed me anyway, right? So, like, I wanted to get yes. booed. That was the whole point. Um, but here, the, the song plays a very important role. I mean, if anybody who's followed musicals, the reason we have a song mm -hmm. is because a point you're trying to make, an emotion you're having, it's too much to just go back and forth with dialogue. Absolutely. Something has to come out of you, right? Absolutely. So, like, I'm trying to really honor that as best possible. And uh, so, I really got to try. <laughs> I, and, like, I've always, people have always told me I could sing. I couldn't. Not not when I'm I was sure wrestling. I'm sure you can carry a note. I'm but sure I know I can carry a tune, tune. and yeah. our awesome music director was like, "No, like have some confidence. I know you think you like you can't hit this <laughs> note, you can't do that." She goes, "But I'll tell you if you don't." Mm. And uh, it's been so it's been a lot of pressure on me. Mm. I you know it's, it's a different kind of environment, but it's mm. a pressure I thrive on and that I really kind of am happy to engage with because I, yes. I want to do better. I love this kind of performance. Love that. And how has it been being on the road? I mean, you're used to being on the road as a wrestler, yeah. but this is a whole other beast because you're not only wrestling, like we were talking about, you're singing, you're acting. I mean, it's a grind and I'm sure it's tiring, but talk to us about what that's been like so far. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, this is, we're talking about, you know, with wrestling, even if you're going every week, mm. it's usually, it's a weekend event. So, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, maybe sometimes even just Friday, Saturday, which I know people who do it every single week and it's busy, but it's like, yes. look, but here we're doing Thursday, Friday, Saturday, mm -hmm. Sunday, maybe off of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Like, it's every, theaters every day, pretty much, except yes. equity day off mm -hmm. on Monday. Oh, he gets it. Oh, he knows. <laughs> I, I know the deal. Okay. <laughs> um, but so for real, even, even in my time in WWE, mm -hmm. where I'd go on long tours, three weeks max, this, mm -hmm. this whole thing from beginning of rehearsals to end, I haven't been home six weeks. That's wow. a long time. Yeah. Um, 
you know, but I am so lucky. It's been very much a grind. I, I miss my bed. I miss my wife and my pets Aww. very much. But uh, I've been telling everybody this who will listen. I'm like, we are really lucky. Like, the people on this cast. Mm. Yes. And it, it can be very hit or miss. And the same with wrestling locker rooms. Mm. Sometimes there's some rough personalities, right, right to contend right. with. But I'm telling you, everyone mm -hmm. is such a joy to hang out with, rehearse with, perform sure. with, and everything like that. So when you have a locker room, a cast like that, I feel very lucky. It makes yes. the grind of it kind of melt away oh that's really nice to hear and i know because i'm a musical theater buff yes. myself and broadway and grew up doing theater as a kid i know that when you are doing theater you have some time to get to know your castmates but for this were you all just kind of thrown together in the mix within a short period of time or were you able to at least get some time to really just hang out as a group i mean that that was kind of a rehearsal process wow yeah like literally because this this one this is a show that came together really quick mm. i mean traditional show would probably you could get a full month of rehearsals, yes. then you tech it out, and then so okay. like you're, we're talking five six weeks before the show opens. Yes, we had a week and a half of rehearsal, a week of tech, and boom, we've Woo! been going ever since. And this is to teach actors wrestling and everything too. Wow. So um, it, it happened really quick, but I mean, again, we bonded really really quickly. Again, fantastic group of people, both in front of and behind the curtain. So it made that gelling of the cast. Mm -hmm. And I think the you'll see the reporters on stage and in the ring. Eric, our our stage is a ring. A ring. Quite literally. This is true. Quite literally. Yes. And I think you'll see that kind of play out. Wow. So with acting, do you want to do more of it in terms of like television, film? I mean, where do you see yourself going as an actor and even perhaps oh. as a singer too, if that's your flavor? <laughs> oh my, yeah, please. That would be absolutely <laughs> amazing. No. So it was kind of funny. Um, when I was with WWE, You've seen a lot of crossover with wrestlers yes. going to movies, right? Mm -hmm. We've seen John Cena, Batista, oh, yeah. and so on. Um, that's very common. You even see a lot of WWE stars on TV shows mm -hmm. these days. Mm -hmm. My big thing, because of my theater background, I was like, at the time, I was like, I want to be the first WWE star to do a Broadway show Ooh. simultaneously. Oh. Like, and like, I'm like, nobody's done that. Yeah. And like, and even after leaving WWE now, but like, I like the idea that I'm actively part of the wrestling business, but here doing a show that, that that's a meld of both but yes. i would love to do more i've really been wanting to do more of that and oddly enough coming from wrestling and being doing tv quite regularly mm -hmm. my first instinct was to do tv and film yes i get those you know reels and auditions mm -hmm. and all that ready right <laughs> but coming back here and like going through a stage rehearsal mm -hmm. process mm -hmm. and um be, you know working on that type of blocking and everything mm -hmm. like literally taking me back to college because like wow. i haven't done the traditional a straight up stage play mm -hmm. since right after college probably because oh, then i you know i did a little bit of both and then i got signed by wwe and off i went mm -hmm. but so like it was really cool being a part of that that cast again coming back to that relationship that really melded Aye. and going through that rehearsal process and, and and the blocking and all this stuff and the music rehearsals it was a, it was a lot of fun so i would originally i was like yeah i don't think i could do a play or a musical like and i'm not that talented like <laughs> You can have me beat up somebody on, on TV, sure, get a good camera angle, but I'm like, I don't know, but this is giving me a lot of confidence. Mm. Like, oh wait, I could I could hold a song if I needed to, and like, I, I love the live performance of theater. So like, yeah, this has kind of really reignited that fire. It was there, but just kind of built it back yes, up, right? Yes, so, Theater yeah. tends to do that. I oh think it's God. like, you just, once you get back in the mix, you, it just brings back all the memories. There's nothing like it. There is nothing mm -hmm. like it. And speaking of Broadway, because I recently saw Suffs, so I don't know if you've heard of it, it is, one of the best, it's about the suffragette movement okay. or suffragist movement, I should say. Um, it's fantastic. But I would love to know what the last Broadway show was that you saw. And if you can't remember if there's a Broadway show now. Well, actually, it, so we opened our show in Rochester, New yes. York. Mm -hmm. uh, had a couple of shows there. And so right before we finished, Book of Mormon came through oh. town. The national touring company yes. came through town. And I, I've always loved the music, but I never got to see the show. Mm -hmm. And so everyone's like, we're going to try to grab some tickets and go. And we wow. did. It was so good. Everybody was awesome. And I didn't even put one and one together <laughs> until I got there. But Rochester is mentioned in one of the songs because that's like the birthplace of Mormon of the Mormon oh, church. I that's where. Know. Yeah. And I so they could, they kind of reference that in one of the lines oh. in the song. So there's a big pop from the crowd <laughs> when they sing that line, which was really cool. So I was like, oh, that's really neat. So it was kind of a serendipitous little moment wow. there. So, yeah, literally just uh, about a week and a half ago. That's awesome. I 
love this conversation, Matt. Me really too. nice to meet you. Congratulations on everything. And everyone watching, please, if you have not gotten your tickets, the tour is still happening. By the time this goes up, it'll still be going. Yes. So run, get your tickets for The Last Match Musical. You want to see Matt Raywalt as the boss and everyone else who's a part of the show. Thank you so much, Matt, and good luck. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye.